Welcome to Inverview, a wonderful garden in Wester Ross, built originally by the passion of one man, Osgood Hanbury Mackenzie, a Highland laird, and built upon by many others since. What makes Inverview wonderful is the passion that these people had for plants and their ability to put them together in an environment like this, where you would least expect to find the world's flora on your doorstep. You can walk through the rhododendron forests of the Himalayas here. You can touch the high mountains of New Zealand, or you can hug a eucalyptus. It is a wonderful place that leaves people with wonderful memories for the rest of their life. Enverview Garden is steeped in history. The man who made this garden, Osgood Hanbury Mackenzie, was the son of the 5th Baronet and 12th Laird of Gaerloch. His mother gave him, at the age of 20, 12,000 acres of highland landscape, barren and desolate, with a peat varying between 2 to 3 centimetres thick to almost half a metre thick. There was nothing growing on it but a couple of scrub willows and any planted native pine trees that were originally grown from seed from Loch Marie. He planted the shelter belts, but the first thing he made was this wonderful walled garden, a labour of love. It took eight years to clear the ground, remove tons and tons and tons of pebbles and build the walls. He talks in his book, A Hundred Years in the Highlands, of the wonderful pears that he grew. He talks of the fruit and the vegetables. This was the engine that drove the big house that Osgood lived in. It is filled with fruit and vegetables still, but it also has an abundance of other tender plants that enjoy the shelter of its walls. Inverview is a garden about shelter and protection from the wind and the salt spray. It's a garden about mist and rain and light. So don't expect the sun to shine all the time when you come here. Enjoy its mystery and magic because it changes every moment of every day that you come to it. Do you ever feel the need to worship a plant? Do you know I do? This chap here, Gunnar Amanicator, from South America, has got life absolutely sussed. It produces these huge leaves that eventually they'll get about eight, nine feet across if it's wet enough. And all they are is huge photosynthetic cells. They soak up sunlight, produce growth, the leaf itself catches all the moisture which rushes down the trunk and then goes right down into the bottom where it feeds the roots with more moisture. And here are the flowers, look at them, they're incredible spikes covered in millions of tiny little flowers. You can see the pollen shaking off it when I rattle it there. And yet down at the bottom is another little relative of it with leaves that are smaller than the palm of my hand. This is Gunnera tinctoria. It just shows you two plants in the same genus, totally opposite in size, and living in harmony here at Inverview. Inverview is a place of botany, a place of discovery, a place to come and see the world's flora in the middle of Western Ross in Northern Scotland. <laughs>
she leave in for you, spare a thought for Osgood Hanbury Mackenzie. His living legacy is behind me in the form of eucalyptus coxifera. These giant gum trees were planted by him. As his daughter Mary Sawyer said, what better memorial could a man leave behind than this little oasis of peace and interest snuggling down between the Atlantic and the Rocky Hills. Come and visit Inverview. Come and experience his passion, the people who made it happen, and the plants themselves. It is indeed a wonderful place. Thank you.